Hey, good Monday, everybody. Uh, good morning. Don't have a camera operator today. It's just me going solo. So um, hopefully I can do a good job showing you guys everything. Welcome to the Coffin Comics shopping channel. This is a one hour segment we do every Monday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Arizona time. Of course, it'll change with the time changes, but we'll see about that. But anyways, um, what we show you is all the stuff we feature over at Coffin Comics our web store, um, also what we got coming up on our eBay store. Um, so today we'll be focusing on the eBay store again. We don't do call outs, just basically click on the links and everything you see on the eBay store is available for you to purchase. Also, there's other links where you can click in to do our um, <clears throat> ladydeathstore.com if you wanna shop on there for like hats and some of our newer editions that are published from Coffin Comics and all the other cool little fun things we offer uh, there as well. Um, so let's get things started. I was able to upload some more um, eBay stuff, again, from the classic Avatar era of Lady Death. Um, the first thing I have for you guys today <coughs> is the Lost Souls number one call to arms cover. Hi Phil, how are you? And this I have on the eBay store. Again, we don't do call outs here. Everything is just click on the link and go ahead and do your shopping, fill up your carts, pick what you want. And uh, also thank you everyone who's been hitting up the uh, Lady Dust store. It's been uh, very, very, very busy. And we wanna thank you guys all for the business and all the purchases you made and checking us out. Uh, next up I have another Avatar Classic. This is the Lady Death. I believe this is also the Lost Souls. Yeah, this is the Lost Souls, and this is the Charge cover. There was a thousand of these made, and this is a Daniel HR. Hey, Psycho, how you doing today, man? Good to see you. Or at least see your texts. Miss seeing you at the offices every day. I also have uh, Lost Souls number one. This is the commemorative issue. There was only a thousand made of these. This is Juan Jose Rip. Have a couple of these available. And as promised, I also found some foil covers. So, yay, I finally was able to dip into foil covers, platinum, golds, and a ruby red. Also, Lost Souls number one, this is the Furious cover. Again, only a thousand copies made. Hope everyone's been holding up uh, during this uh, interesting times we're living in. Um, I've uh, been working for a home for the last week. It has been a very interesting week to say the least. Uh, I miss a lot of the hustle bustle of the office and of course hearing everyone working in the background it, Kind of makes you a little work sick instead of homesick. Lost Souls, number one, this is the Team Spirit cover. Josh Grimsley, how are you today, man? How are you and your family doing? Hope everyone's well. All right, continuing with Lost Souls. This is the Lost Souls number one white hot cover. Juan Jose Rip, really stunning covers. Something I notice about Brian, he's he really has an eye for art. And I can't wait till I dig into more of the cool stuff I have yet to see because the man is a total collector and getting to archive his stuff is a lot of fun, but he keeps pulling out stuff I'm Ah, uh, my jaw hits the floor. It's like, wow, where where do you keep having this stuff stored where I can't see it? All right, we're up to number two now of Lost Souls. This is the candlelight cover. Ooh. They're going to slay you in candlelight. So beautiful. Yes, yes. Phil, 
You definitely love the covers arts. Yeah, I do too. I'm definitely finding, um, I haven't looked at a lot of this Avatar stuff, so this is a lot of this pulling them out and pulling them out for the eBay store for you guys. Um, most of this stuff is the first time I've seen a lot of these editions, so this has been a lot of fun. Again, this is Lost Souls number two. This is the Defiant. Like I say, it's very interesting <laughs> to be doing this without a cameraman. But hey, we make do with what we have at Coffin. I'm sure you all are making do with what you have as well. Again, all these items you will find on our eBay store. Just click on the links that we have posted on there and uh, start clicking away. I do have quantities of some. Um, some items, um, like I said uh, last Monday, these are the last editions. Some of them um, I do have, you know, like maybe 10, but for a majority, everything, um, until I find more, this is the last of the last. This is beautiful works. This is the face-off cover for Lost Souls number two. Yeah, I agree, Phil. The interior art for our books is really amazing. Daryl, thanks for joining us. And, and thank you very much for um, paying respect to my wife's uh, grandfather and her father's flags. I have them up here in the background here at the house. So thank you very much, Daryl. That was really nice You know, hit up my wife and find out more about her uh, father and her grandfather's service in the military. So thank you. That was really sweet of you. Really beautiful cover. I love the Juan Jose rip covers. I think those are some of my favorite ones I've been running. Um, I also did a show on Friday and I brought back some of that stuff to show you guys in case anyone missed that. I'll be showing you some of the stuff that I was um, showing off on Friday as well. And here's my first hollow foil cover. This is Lost Souls, number two. This is the platinum foil. Platinum. Again, all foil covers come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight or you will go blind. Yeah, it's the hooligan show, Daryl. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you all watching me on Mondays. It's always a, a joy to hear from you guys. Thank you again for joining us. Here's the other number two I have. This is the gold foil cover. I might only have one left of these, maybe two. But I really like how in the foils they've done like the teeth and the swords and the text. I always love the text. And of course... The Lost Souls logo has also got a nice foil, gold foil. And then right here, the little stamp covering up whatever was there is also gold foil. So that's very sweet of them. Nothing left the same. <laughs> Jacob! Oh, thanks for watching, Jacob. You guys made it okay. All right, well, my uh, nephew, who was my cameraman the last uh, two shows, <clears throat> last Monday and on Friday... Uh, him and his brother and uh, Janie had to fly back to Michigan this morning, so it was nice having him stay with us uh, for a week. Um, hopefully we will see you again very soon, and thank you so much, Jacob, for all the help you did on the last two shows. I am forever in your debt. Love you, kid. Next up, fun one for you guys. We got the Lady Death She, issue zero. Ooh. Crossover, I believe this is the first time they've crossed over. It's beautiful. I love the reflection of she and the blade. Just lovely. She cover. Just love his covers. His interiors. His work is really nice. Always a classic. Like I say, all this stuff you will find on our eBay store. <clears throat> um been doing lots of load ups. Um, there has been almost um, 150 items added. Um, 
this week and or last week and some this week didn't get to as much as I wanted to because um, I was doing uh, some wholesale orders and stuff like that and doing some more training on that because that's another part of my job um, I also do uh, wholesale accounts as well so been doing some training on that it's been a lot of fun so thank you psycho I'm looking forward to taking over everything for you and I've learned a lot from you so thank you very much <clears throat> here we go here's a classic the lady death swimsuit 2005 now I remember in the 90s um, these uh, swimsuit editions everyone was really cranking them out they're a pretty popular item and I like that Brian keeps um, a lot of that 90s tradition alive. Even though this is from the uh, 2005, it's nice to see that he was still doing some of these great, wonderful ideas. And making collectability and collecting comic books fun. Uh, almost like collecting cards. Like how many covers can you collect? What covers are you gonna get? And it's always fun to see everyone um, showing off their collections and um, seeing the comments on like Cyber Fiends and other websites. So thank you guys. Is the other cover to Lady Death Swimsuit 2005. This is the Killing Blow cover. The Juan Jose Rip. It's really beautiful. Beautiful edition. And everything here, like I say, is on our eBay store. Just click on the link. Or you can also click on the link um, to pick up the newest items from Coffin Comics. Um, most of the older stock... Um, most of the chaos and avatar stuff and uh, soon to be cross gen uh, lady death titles uh, will be uh, on the eBay stores where you'll find most of those and most of this stuff like I, I keep uh, saying is going to be the last of the last so once we sell out of everything unless I find more um, a lot of them are going to be gone so a lot of people have been scooping up some really cool stuff another swimsuit cover we got dun 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 that's a very dramatic reveal This is the premium cover. <clears throat> nice, heavier card stock than on some of the other ones. Get really nice, nice cover. Let's look at some of the, the interiors on some of these books, some of these swimsuits. Check this out. This has got some really beautiful art from a lot of the folks who were helping out of do the Lady Death books during the Avatar years. Some samples. A lot of this stuff has just been in boxes for a few years. Um, so the, a lot of these books, this is the first time they're getting the light of day. Oh, that's a really nice Richard Ortiz. Board. This is the last of the 2005 swimsuits. This is the Scorching. Green, this is uh, Ron Lopez. I got that right. Yeah, beautiful piece. And a lot of these are uh, really good values. Um, we got stuff uh, priced anywhere between $3, and there's also more higher end stuff. I only have two things going on bidding right now, and I'll be showing you one here in a second. It's the Lady Death versus War Angel. I only did 5,000 of this kiss, and I believe this is Rafa Lopez, artist. War Angel is also part of the Coffin Verse now too. So it's really cool that we were able to take some characters and keep them going in the Coffin Verse for you. And this is my very last copy. <clears throat> this is the ruby red foil cover. Hopefully I can get some of that nice foil to reflect. Um, this is my last one. Um, this one is on a bit. Once the bid's done, I only put it up for a week. There's a lot of really beautiful red foil enhancements on her War Angel's costume. And of course, in the text and her blade. All the trimmings on all her costuming. But yeah, really beautiful, beautiful one. I love these foil covers. I say this is the very last one. This one uh, is on a bid right now. Let's go on and scoop it up. Another Lady Death versus War Angel. This is the wrap cover, again by Rafa. Really gorgeous piece. 
and all this stuff you can find on the eBay store. There we go. And here's something I showed um, Friday when I did a little quick uh, hour-long show. This is the 10th anniversary cover, and this is a reprint of The Reckoning. This is the inner, uh, energy cover. So for those who did not catch the Friday show, here's a couple things um, I was showing on there to PTU folks who missed it, or even who didn't catch the uh, replays on our YouTube channel, and that's uh, the Coffee Comics channel on YouTube. Definitely click and subscribe. We'll upload this show um, on there, and of course, uh, any other type of um, content we do uh, any filming on, we'll be loading them up there. Um, I know we're doing plans to hopefully feature some artists on there doing some uh, video presentations of like how to draw. I know we had Monty Moore uh, do an art, art, art segment, which was really nice. We did a cosplay segment uh, a couple weeks ago. We definitely got a lot of fun content coming your way on the YouTube channel. Uh, everything I'm going to be showing you today is on our eBay store. It's again another 10th anniversary cover. This is the um, night flight. Okay. This is the uh, premium cover for the 10th anniversary of Lady Death. And again, this is a reprint of The Reckoning. Number one Lady Death origin series. And they did really, on these premium ones, they do some really nice heavy card stock on these covers. So it's nice and thick. And again, there's a reprint of Lady Death, The Reckoning, number one. And this is the 10th anniversary edition. It's hard to believe uh, it's now been in uh, publication for 26 years now. And um, I can't believe it's been 16 years since these 10th anniversaries came out. Um, it doesn't seem that long ago, but time flies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, I have the Queen of the Dead cover for the 10th anniversary. Again, you'll find these on our Lady Death store, on our Lady, not the Lady Death store, the uh, eBay store we have for Coffin Comics. Just go ahead and click on the links and everything that'll take you right to the page. Scoop up this and a lot of other cool stuff we have uploaded there on our eBay store. And also there's links there so you can get Sworn Fest tickets, uh, a link so you can go into the uh, Lady Death store and pick up a bunch of other of the newest Coffin Comics um, books, prints, really beautiful uh, fine art uh, collections. Uh, we even have some ball caps if they haven't sold out yet, uh, trucker hats. Um, and if we have them, we may even have a t-shirt or two. Um, I know our stock goes really fast on shirts whenever we introduce a new shirt. Uh, you can also get challenge coins and a bunch of other really fun stuff that we offer at Coffin Comics. Here is the uh, Serpents. Pull down some of these ones and show you some other cool stuff I got for you all. Here is the Abandon All Hope. This is the half issue. This again is something I featured on Friday. I still have some in stock on the eBay store. We do um, a lot of our things. Instead of call outs, just click on the links and Shop away, shop away. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have the hiccups bad today. Chorizo and eggs and potato burrito. Does you in every time. Bund and Hope, issue two. This is the Juan Jose Rip cover. Can really beautiful art. Beautiful pieces. We have a lot of really good uh Good prices on these things on our eBay store. Right now, I only have a couple things that I've shown on the, um, uh, excuse me, the Coffin Comics channel um, that are bids. Uh, one of them was a signed China number one that was from Wizard World, um, signed by China herself uh, uh, at the Coffin booth they had out there. Um, so I have uh, one of those up for bid that was signed by her. 
And then I also uploaded um, some of the non-signed ones I had on there. Last I checked, I went from nine or 10 to maybe one or two left. So if you're uh, wrestling fans, uh, scoop those up. Uh, people have been picking them up quite quickly. I think I might even have one copy left of the Rock premium cover uh, that I showed you. Um, and then I still have a couple left of the China 2 number one premium covers also uh, that were uploaded on there. Here we go. Here's issue three of Abandon All Hope. This is just the standard cover. There you go. Anyone has any questions on or anything or... Give me a shout out on how are you guys doing with this whole um, coronavirus. Pretty interesting. I've been working at home for a little bit over a week now, so uh, it's definitely uh, uh, it's definitely different. It is different. Abandon all hope. Number three commemorative cover. A few of these left. Again, everything's on our eBay store. Just kick on the link. And pick up your items that you are interested in. Oops, all my little notes are coming off. Ha ha. All right. Put that away from now. Abandoned all hope. <clears throat> this is number three. This is the premium cover. Again, a little more sturdier cover stock. Very, very thick, almost uh, more like a card stock. But yeah, really beautiful piece. And this comes to done by uh, Paolo Sequeira. I hope I'm saying that name right. I'm sure I'm not. But Ron, uh, Ron Adrian does the interior arts. Like I say this is the uh, Abandoned Two or Three. It's published by Avatar in the uh, mid. It's like 2006, 2007. So all that in there for you. Another Juan Jose Rip one. This is the Ben and a Hole number three. Again, all these are on our eBay store. Most of the items are buy now. And they'll range anywhere from $3 to $15, depending on the rarity of the book, of course. Um, there's not many of these I do have in stock. So a lot of the stuff I am presenting here for the eBay store um, is going to be almost the last of the last um, until I can get my hands on some more. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping. There is hope. And here is the Abandon All Hope. This is the number four regular cover. Again, uh, the eBay store has really been blowing up over the last few days. A um, lot of uh, really fun people trying to reach out and talk to a lot of these folks. Um, and um, really met some really cool new customers and hopefully they'll be repeat. But you know, thank you everyone who's been checking out our eBay store. Um, They've scooped up, uh, in some cases, the last items um, that I had of certain issues. Um, but like I say, I, every day I'm adding more. I won't be able to upload any more content for the next uh, couple days because I'll need to do some other uh, work that won't be with the EV store. But don't worry, in between um, those times, I'll be uploading and getting stuff to populate uh, hopefully the next day. Before... Juan Jose Rip cover, a beautiful one, classics, classics. Take down these ones, foil covers, gold foil, platinum, Lady Death She. Got some of those in stock, so fret not, my friends. Okay. Here we go. The This is the painted cover of Lady Death Annual number one. I believe this came out in 2005, 2006. Have a few of these in stock. Again, everything is on the eBay store. 
just click on the links and it'll take you right there and uh, check out this hundreds more books I have uploaded on there and some other fun items um, if I had it I did put up some challenge coins those are going fast so everyone's been really eating up those I also put up um, a five 11 by 17 grab bag where you get five 11 by 17 prints they're all randomly picked I have hundreds to choose from and I wanted to try them out just, uh, so I, I, I made like 20 of them or so so uh, people have been scooping them up there is some that are signed there is uh, it's a mix of La Muerta, Lady Death, Hell Witch, pretty much all the characters. Um, if it's signed, then I'll throw a COA in your grab bag. Um, there's even limited edition ones I put on there. And it's a great price, five prints, $25. Um, normally our prints run at $16, so it's an awesome deal. So scoop them up if you want some cool art. Uh, it's almost like buying a huge pack of trading cards. The only thing I can't do is throw in the gum, and I think that would ruin the prints anyway. So. It's another wraparound annual names you can find on our eBay store. Daryl, <laughs> Daryl, you are sworn tastic, man. You are. <laughs> I love your comments, Daryl. They're great. You definitely, uh, you're an awesome customer and you're just an all around great fiend and sworn, so. Always appreciate you. Always looking forward when I see you at events and Kickstarters or what have you. You seem to always be there. And thank you very much for supporting us at Coffin Comics. We really appreciate you, man. Here is the Boundless Firestarter cover for Lady Death of Apocalypse. This is issue two. There was only a hundred of this published. I only have a f one or four. I don't know. I don't have many left but they are gonna be gone once they're gone. Daryl, how have you been holding up for everything? Are you having a good time? Of course you are, you're always having a good time. <laughs> Here's the Century Edition for Lady Death Apocalypse, Boundless number five, this is the D cover, again, limited to 100 copies. I only have a couple of these left. down some of these today I went through and lo and behold I found the 2005 bikini special so we have the swimsuit special and we have bikini specials and this is the uh, bones skulls cover excuse me Rafa Lopez is the cover artist hey Ace how are you doing Thank you for joining. Ace, where are you from? Where are you watching us from? East Coast, Mid, South, where are you from? Where are you from? Shout out to Ace. Oh, here we go, guys. I guess that was it for my bikini ones. Here we are with Blacklands. This is the half issue. Hit another awesome cover by Juan Jose Rip. How are things in Utah, Ace? How are you holding up during all this craziness we're going through? Not only that, how is the weather in Utah? It's starting to get warm here in Arizona. I'm not looking forward to the summer because um, it gets so bloody hot. You just don't want to do anything but stay inside, inside an AC. When your AC go out, well, you're... You're just SOL, man. SOL. Here we go. This is another half issue for Blacklands. It's the Adrian cover. Really beautiful piece. I, my favorite one is the gargoyle there at the bottom. Hello, my lady. Yes. Now, Ace in Utah... Um, is it still chilly out there? Is it still kind of like wintry or is it getting um, hot like it does in a lot of the west uh, western states? I heard about that crazy uh, earthquake, man. You and your family and everyone you know okay. 
that was nuts to hear. I, I, I had to double check the news feed. It's like Utah had an earthquake. Um, that sounded really surreal. Um, I, I'd never heard of earthquakes in Utah. Uh, you guys are all okay out there. And thank you very much for watching. This is the premium cover for the half issue of Blacklands. Take down the foil. Ba, 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 boom. Here we go. This is another half issue. This is by Juan Jose Rip, and this is a wrap. So the cover wraps around. It's a real stunning look. I really like the effect they did on the eyes. Just really stunning. I don't know if it shows up well on the camera, but I just really love that effect they did on her eyes. Beautiful piece. Beautiful. And it is a wraparound cover. There you go. There's the famous sword. And everything here is on our store. If you are interested, just click on the links and pick them up. A lot of these will be the last of the last. So once they're gone, they're gone. Here's another uh, Blacklands number one, another wrap cover. This one's stunning. This one just reminds me of Greek, Greek art. Can you send um, a little bit of that rain here? I'd just like something to kind of shake up the sunshine. Um, and wow, it's in the 50s. <laughs> that sounds beautiful, man. I'm a little, I'm jealous, Ace. I'm jealous, Ace. And thanks for replying back. Wait, Daryl, did you just say sworngasm? <laughs> Daryl, you're killing me. Killing me. This is also a rap cover by Juan Jose Rip. Again, beautiful piece, beautiful work of art. Again, a lot of these are really great prices, guys. Really good prices on these items. <clears throat> Sworn gasm. <laughs> oh Lord. Is the issue two another wraparound cover for Blacklands? <laughs> One of the foil covers I showed on Friday. I can say I don't have many premium foils. This is the platinum edition. This is three, three. I have a few copies left of this, and most uh, so far, every one I've come across has been sealed, and it still has the COA on the back, showing the editions. So it was six fifty. So if they're sealed, I try to keep them in the bag for y'all and uh, make sure the COAs go with them. Because um, I know that's important to a lot of you guys, especially uh, you completists and people that are like hardcore collectors. I know how much that means to you. So I try to make sure I keep everything together the way it should be. <clears throat> All right. Some other fun stuff I got. Oh, here we go. Now these ones uh, were blown big time on eBay uh, over the weekend. These are the boundless issues. I have zero through 13, and then that's it. You owe me a drink, dude. Ace, I would so appreciate that. And if I wasn't working, I would crack open the beer I have in the fridge right now and toast ya. Um, that, that. You know what? When I crack open the beer, I'm going to do a toast to you, Ace. And um, if you're coming to Sworn Fest, there's a link in the description here. Click on it and you can buy tickets. And Utah ain't that far from Arizona. So we're we're neighbors, man. Come on down to Sworn Fest or any one of the events we do. And I'd love to have a drink with you. I'd love to meet you and chat. It's always fun to meet the Fiends and the Sworns um, at the events that we do. Kickstarter events, um, cons. Unfortunately, with a lot of the postponing of cons, um, we'll be doing a lot of video stuff. Um, the one thing that really bums me out is I don't get to uh, meet a lot of you guys uh, when we're at these cons because a lot of times that's where um, 
we get to meet these customers. I get to put a face with the names on the orders I've picked in the past. So it's always fun to interact with all you guys. And again, we were very appreciative of you all. So thank you very much, Ace. I, I, I love that. Ace, are you uh, a beer drinker, wine drinker, or whiskey? Or just hard liquor? <laughs> I'm a little bit of everything. Can't do the wine. Gives me a really bad headache, but God, it gives me the nice warm and fuzzies. Ah, stunning book. Michael uh, DePascal. This is issue zero. This is the auxiliary cover. And this is a stunning piece. This gentleman did um, pretty much almost all the Art Deco covers that I was showing on um, Friday. And I just love how, how he can just change his style so much that it's like, uh, it's like, wow, this is the same artist. And it's like, hey, if it wasn't for, you know, the artist's signature, I wouldn't have even guessed it's the same artist. So I love artists that really do that. It's amazing, it's amazing. I wish I could draw, but um, I'm really good with stick figures, but that's about it. Um, another uh, cover I have here right now. The old Hastings. This is exclusive from Hastings. Uh, they were a chain of stores throughout parts of the country um, that I uh, noticed uh, a lot of the small uh, towns usually had Hastings around them uh, and they would get like records and it was kind of like a big entertainment store. Um, so I had two of these I pulled out of the box. So this is the Hastings exclusive. It was limited to 2000. So all you fans of Hastings and other stuff, um, there you go. I only got a couple of these. Uh, I agree with you when it comes to drink. It definitely does depend on the day. Um, especially on the day you've had. Um, so I hope you're having a really good day. Here we go, there's another Boundless number one. Very beautiful, beautiful cover. Very majestic. I guess with the term I put on it. Miguel, how are you feeling, man? Again, all these items are on our eBay store. I've been loading up with tons of content for everyone. Um, I think so far um, in the past few weeks, uh, I think I have added roughly maybe 120, almost 150 new items onto the eBay store. So it's getting loaded up. It's loading up. Another really beautiful rep cover where Juan Jose Rip. Hopefully you all can see this, but don't get too much glare from my window. But yeah, really beautiful. Beautiful. And I really love the, the skulls he's been putting covers in the flowers. It's really beautiful pieces, guys. And I have varying quantities on everything. Like I say, some things I have, um, you know, 15 up there. Some things I only have one or two. So if there's something you're seeing, definitely check it out. Get it while you got it. Uh, who else? Is there? Oh, good, Miguel. So your leg is um, um, definitely healing. So that's good. Oh, economics and comics. Yeah, 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 I'm glad uh, you mentioned it. Those are great guys. Thank you very much for, uh, you know, to those guys for coming out so short notice to do an event with us. Oh, here we go, here we go. First Art Deco cover, this is issue two. I love these covers. I think these are some of the coolest ones from the Boundless Run. It's just the Art Deco ones really speak to me. Just beautiful. It's beautiful and again here's here's a good sampling this is the same artist just just beautiful I just love how he's able to just flip it like that I did not know this was the first artist until I was doing some digging around 
and I always, the Art Deco's always caught my eyes. Well, <laughs> this artist really caught my eye, so I definitely like his stuff. This is Michael uh, DePascal did the art on this. Beautiful pieces. Um, this is one of many different art deco covers I have. And again, I don't have a lot of numbers on these. Um, uh, why? So if there's something you see and you like it, grab it, make it yours, get it. Because once it's gone, it's it. It's the way of the dodo. Extinct! Until I can find some more. So, yeah. Here we go. This is the Lady Death Boundless number two rap cover. A hip Hop, a hippity hop, and don't stop dropping. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm done with the comedy work. Maybe. But this one is really, got a really nice piece how this covers wraps around. I just love the detailing. This is Juan Jose Rip. Just look at all that carnage going on in the backgrounds. And there she is standing victorious above them all. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Again, this is all stuff on our eBay store, folks. eBay store. There's also links for the uh, Lady Death store as well. So don't be shy. Click on those links and get them today. Ah. Another Michael DePascal cover. It's number three. They say people have been scooping up the boundless stuff big time. Hey, neighbor Billy. Hi. I got my neighbor coming by. <laughs> oh, it's been fun working from home. Definitely uh, <laughs> something I've never had to experience before. So it's definitely first time for us all. Um, that was my brother-in-law, Billy, stopping by. Uh, he just lives a couple doors down from us. So one thing that's cool about being locked up is... Um, the in and everyone are very close by, so um, someone needs something, we'll do a, you know, someone will drop off like a box of food for them or toilet paper or whatever else they have. So, you know, just trying to help out who uh, can't help themselves or can't get what they need. It's like, well, heck, if we got it, we've got plenty, then we're going to share it with the family and, you know, got to give people what they need. It's another wrap cover. Issue three of the Boundless. This Lady Death Boundless stuff has been going off the hooks. I had 12 boxes from Coffin gone online. Oh, wow. Ace, we love you, man. 12 boxes. You were busy that weekend, man. Holy cow. Uh, holy cow. That's... I think I remember someone telling me about that photo. It's like, look at all the boxes this guy got all his orders in. Ace, thank you very much for that. I'm going to show you another beautiful cover. Wrap cover. Now this one, I like. It's almost like on these covers, some of these wrap covers, um, a very, almost, they remind me of something like from the 60s, kind of psychedelic. But I just love the grass, all the scales in that dragon. I mean, just really beautiful stuff. And there's some that uh, covers that I was finding. It's like, wow, this is some real surreal stuff. I mean, I really love these flowers with the skull heads in it. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful works of art. And that's what, um, for a lot of collectors, that's what comics is. It's, it's, it's a wonderful stories. Beautiful artwork, covers are, but it, it's it's a piece of art you can admire and read and really escape into, and that's what's great about comics is it's right now it's probably the best time since we're all home. Grab some books, load up on some comics, get some reading done. If it wasn't for comics, I couldn't read. I was a very bad reader as a child. And I had a wonderful teacher that got me some Spider-Man comics in my hands. And she taught me how to read. It's Lady Death number five, Boundless Issue. This is another wrap cover. Very beautiful, beautiful works of art, guys. Oh, 
This one, this Art Deco cover was extremely popular this weekend. Like I say, get them while I got them because once they're done, that's it. Um, I don't have any more. Um, but like I say, there's still more boxes for me to dig through. Uh, but when it comes to a lot of this stuff, um, it's so far, this is the only stock I've been able to find. So by all means, guys and gals, scoop them up. Um, you're getting them from the source, the creator, Brian Polito. These are books that he's had uh, that we used to sell at shows back in the day and on our store when we were first starting off. Um, and now all of them are on the eBay store. And not all of them are bids. There's only a couple things you'll really to bid on at all right now. Everything else is um, buy now prices. So really good, reasonable prices. There's some really great stuff. And for a lot of your completists, it's an opportunity to scoop up the stuff that Maybe you haven't been able to before, and you're giving it to the source, Brian Polito. This is all from his stuff. This is all our stock. The last of the last. Oh, there you go. Great rap cover by Richard Ortiz. Beautiful stuff. Just beautiful. Just stunning. Again, it's a beautiful wrap cover. Really great centerfold piece. I almost would like this to be like, just frame that, hang it on the wall. Have Mr. O.T. sign it. Just stunning pieces like this. There's tons of this stuff. I got lots of fun stuff on eBay. This is just some samples of it. Let's show some other really Stunning pieces of work. I get some more Art Decos. Oh, probably. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I have any left on the store, guys. This one. Um, this is from an, uh, I believe, Austin Comic Comic Con. It's the Austin edition. I only had maybe a couple of those to offer. I know someone has already scooped up one or one or two of them. So. Um, yeah, that'll be it on some of these. So there is some con exclusive covers. I have also put some ash cans uh, in there as well. Like here's a Virginia con cover exclusive issue 10. There's only 750 of these. So this is the type of stuff you'll find on the eBay store. Just click on the links and do some shopping. Thank you everyone who's been joining us today. Oh, here. Here's another example of the Art Deco. That same artist, but just look at how he mixes that up. Just, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really gorgeous stuff. I really, I think the Art Deco covers are my favorite of all of this um, Avatar stuff I've been showing you guys over the last couple of days. Um, there's something about it. Really. Ugh. Here's another one that I, I found uh, to be kind of psychedelic. No, this is not. There's one that has a frog, a frog, and it's huge. And it's, ah, here we go, here we go. Issue 12 wrap cover. Just stunning. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh, let's look at the back cover. And it's like, oh, okay, this is cool. But there's another one, the same artist, and there's this stunning. Sorry if my internet keeps dipping in and out. Um, my daughter's also uh, home from work, working, and she does a lot of finance stuff. So that might uh, see why you see the quality going, dropping in and out. Another cool thing to find was the uh, fetishes books. Got a few of these left. This is a Richard Ortiz cover, if I recall. Yep. It's the 2006 fetishes special cover. And it is very special. Something I'm showing from me to you. Got another really nice fetishes one. Guess it didn't make it. Oh, here we go. For all you fans of the um, bikinis and swimsuits, we have the Leather and Lace 2005 books. Juan Jose Rip again. Again, just click on the links that we have and shop away, shop away. So, leather and lace. Set that over here. 
another one of the leather and lace covers. I believe I had like three different covers, maybe four for these editions. And again, it's a pinup book. A lot of artists uh, that work with us, like Rafa Lopez, Carlos Fiera. But yeah, all this deals with like um, bondage, leather, lace. I love this swing one. That is beautiful. And how everything, all the uh, laundry is skin. It's people's skin. It's both beautiful and yet horrifying all at once. Just really groovy looking stuff. There you go. Carlos Ferreira covers. Pinup arts pieces. So yeah. Some examples of what you'll expect inside of there. I'll be wrapping it up here in just a few moments. Thank you everyone for joining me uh, these last few days. It has been very interesting. I'm sure it has been for all of us uh, out there in the world. Um, but as I've said, I think um, we're all going to pull through this because we're American. We're Americans, uh, we pull together, we unite, and we are stronger when we are all united. So, round of applause to everyone who's been out there fighting the good fight and out there just trying to make ends meet every day in these weird times we're in. But, you know, um, definitely I'm here every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. here at the Comic Book Shopping Network. This is the Coffin Comics Shopping Channel, or Shopping Network. One of these days I will get that right. Um, so I want to thank you all uh, for the last uh, few days and for the last uh, month that we've been on here streaming. Thank you everyone that's watching it again on our YouTube channels and our other streaming sources on Facebook, the Brian Polito page and the Lady Death uh, page. And thank you all the fiends. Thank you all the sworn. Thank you all fans of all types for checking us out um, and definitely picking up our stuff and also supporting comic book, uh, the comic book industry. It's a weird time for the industry right now, um, but a lot of us are really thinking out of the box to try to um, get some books in your hands and keep the uh, boat ships afloat. Um, you know, also support your local mom and pop shops. Um, we also do wholesales, so if anyone is interested in wholesaling, uh, doing a wholesale account, you could do that at inquiries at coffincomics.com and we will get things started for you, get your applications filled out so you can carry our products in your store. Um, again, it has been um, featuring uh, some of the stuff I've been finding um, in my adventures in the warehouse pulling out old dusty boxes, pulling out old comic boxes and seeing what's inside. And these are some of the examples of the treasures I've been finding to present to you guys. Uh, again, my name's Julian the Hooligan. Uh, got a few more minutes. I, Ace, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> Daryl, may the sworn bless you. And may the sworn also bless you, good man. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Hope everything is going to be right, doing good out there in Utah or wherever you guys are out there watching. Um, thank you. Miguel, I'm glad you're moving around. I'm glad your leg's healing up. Um, message me. Um, I think I might have something for your son um, that you've been asking me about. So please message me. Um, I'd love to get you guys taken care of. Um, again, I am Julian the Hooligan. I am here. I shopping uh, network every monday from 4 p.m pacific time to 5 p.m pacific time um until the time changes because we're in arizona we don't change everyone else changes around us anywho um this is where you'll find us every monday we also rebroadcast this on youtube at the coffin comics channel um just go ahead and subscribe to get new content up there and keep it entertaining for all you fiends and all you sworn um thank you everybody who's been supporting us um so i'm going to try to get this a little closer so you can see some of the pretty things i've set up in my living room for y'all um <laughs> thank you miguel thank you guys everybody 
Got some foil covers, not many, but I have found a few. So get them while I got them, because once that's it, that's that's it. They're done. They're done. No more until I can find some more. Sometimes when I'm going through these boxes, I have the theme music to Indiana Jones playing in my head because um, <laughs> I feel like an artist. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, battery is almost dead. Um, but again, thank you, everybody, um, for the shout outs. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I will be here in my living room again next Monday with some more cool stuff. Um, my goal is to have another hundred books from the collections that I've been finding all this stuff in. So I'm going to try to upload a whole another hundred books for y'all to check out. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, been a lot of nice uh, meeting all these nice customers over on eBay. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, everyone be safe. Everyone take care. Um, everyone be there for each other and support one another. And, you know, we can't do this without you all. And uh, right now, I just met a new guy named Ace from Utah. He is sworn. I can't wait to meet him uh, fairly soon. We got Sworn Fest coming up in less than a year. It's going to be here before you know it. Uh, Miguel, thank you for watching. Uh, Daryl, thank you for watching. Everybody who's been watching and giving the shout outs, um, thank you very much. It's been fun meeting you guys. Uh, so, Miguel, um, yes? <laughs> I'll reply back to your, I just saw your message pop up, so I will definitely uh, message you back and let you know. Um, I hope it's not a surprise, but yeah, I, I think I, I, I have what you're looking for, dude, and it, I'd love to hook you up with it. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up. My battery is just about dying. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me today and uh, this will be rebroadcast on other services to, uh, with Coffin Comics. Coffin Comics. And just remember I'm Julian the Hooligan and I'm sworn as is Coffin Comics to you. Thank you very much everybody and you have a great day. Talk to you next week. <laughs>